So Holly, how is your new gloves <laughs> turning out? Um, interesting. <laughs> They're not very airtight at the moment, as there's massive gaps. <laughs> oh, major engineering flaws, yes. eh? But, uh, How's started? yours, James? I've gone for a mitten approach, uh, but there is an unfortunate issue with uh, thumb ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your opinion, Holgar? Well, I think I think they're doing a good job, actually. Um, m maybe this is a little windy type of glove. <laughs> Air conditioning. And this, this yet, yeah, I mean, very sophisticated. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's more bubble wrap or more tape. <laughs> So what do you Sorry. think the insulative properties are of the tape compared to the bubble wrap? Mm, I would prefer a bubble wrap, though. <laughs> or my glove, which I have brought here. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I should also need, would need some tape. Yeah, yeah I think so. Holly's might have a little leftover. <laughs> maybe not. I'll put some tape. <laughs> Let's see. Here we are, ready to start the uh, competition between the gloves. We have James with the mitten. It's a, a beautiful mitten. <laughs> <laughs> and Holly with the highly engineered glove that even <laughs> matches her jacket. It's a fashion statement in and of itself. <laughs> Possibly a better cutting device than a kitchen knife. <laughs> what about layers? Well, this has layers. This has two layers, okay. but uh, that appears not to have worked. <laughs> and yours, Holly? What engineering changes would you make? Well, my fingers stayed quite warm, and they were double layered. So maybe I should have double layered the hand as well. Plus, I'd have eliminated all of the holes that I appeared. 